we head to 197 pound weight class semifinal where we'll see the 3 2 matchup, and it is out of Oklahoma State, Preston Weagle. Record of 14 0 will take on Colin Moore of Ohio State, and Moore wasting no time. The junior, 22 and 2 on the year, gets the first takedown. I stopped, had the opportunity to stop and speak with Coach Perry before this session started and I asked him what's the key here and he said we don't have to tell Preston Weigel anything. Preston Weigel before the year marked a couple of guys down who he knew would be at the top that he would have to beat to win an NCAA title and Colin Moore was one of those guys so he is ready to compete here. We don't have to give him any motivation. He's already motivated himself. Weigel who battled injuries last year and went 0-2 in the national championships as a 9 seed has battled with them this year, but he went 4-0 to win the Big 12 championship, and three of those four wins were in a dominant fashion. Two major decisions and a technical fall to dominate in Tulsa, Oklahoma two weeks ago. On the reshot, Moore, what a terrific pull through as he ducks under and gets the two, and Moore has a second takedown early on in this bout. Looking great as Colin Moore offensive, and this is the this is the Colin Moore you want to see. You just hope to see it against Bo Nickel if they were to meet. Good pressure by the Buckeye. Three-time All-American is Moore, 2017, third place at 197. He was the number one seed in Cleveland last year and finished fourth at 197, where he lost to Cannell of Kent State twice. First, he got pinned in the quarters and a quick pin. And then in third place, ran against Cannell again and lost 5-3 to three to finish fourth. So an escape here for Weigel. Now a good shot, kind of bounced off the mat, came up on the left leg. He's in deep. Moore trying to kick away, and he does. Circles back in, and he's still out of danger, got out of danger, leading by two. And Weigel, the reason he was out was that knee injury on the right leg, and you can tell... Heavily padded. Looks like he has a knee sleeve. And in addition to the knee sleeve, does have a knee pad, but that's, I guess we can call it a shin pad because where it's located right now. Yeah. In the corner, as we said, Coach Perry for Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State this year. They went 15 and 0 in duels, and they wore the Big 12 champion regular season and tournament. As you see, that's Chris Perry in the orange shirt. And over across the way is Jay Jaggers. Ohio State, Tom Lyon, not in the corner for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes, several guys getting into the final, and then you had Penn State now leading 104.5 points to 80.5 points to a 24-point advantage for the Nittany Lions, the defending national champions. Flip of the disc. Joyce goes to Weigel, he'll defer, and more. Let's say we'll stay on our feet here. Cornell and Mizzou trading spots. I was paying attention after that Max Dean, and Cornell was sitting in seven, so they jumped Michigan, and then they were in front of Missouri, but Missouri jumped them after one of the All-American rounds going on on the outsides of one, two, three, and four. Excuse me. Three, four, five, and six. It's kind of a dog bone formation, so to speak, with the two semifinals, like I say, on one and two in the middle. Here's more deep shot here, and he gets the uh, takedown, trying to finagle Weigel into near fall criteria. Weigel just wants to get out of bounds on the far side of the mat as he surrenders his third takedown in a very short time, that first three minutes, and then First 20 seconds of this second period, a 6-2 lead. Nick Grasso is our inside official, and assisting him on the outside is Jason Wedgbury. Weigel takes his time to get set. So he surrendered that third takedown to the Buckeye. So you talk about more as Weigel squares up nice, quick escape. Goes through the front headlock immediately, halfway through, and then oh, just Moore throws him by and covers him. It was like a magic act there. One minute! Wow. Moore is in a groove and up by five. He's got riding time. He's in on a front headlock and arm dragged out of it. 
That's pretty slick right there for Colin Moore. Two losses, both to Bo Nickel. There's a quick pin by Nickel, 138 in the duel against the Nittany Lions, and then fell to Bo 10-3 at the Big Tens a couple weeks ago up in the Twin Cities. I've seen a lot of questions surrounding if on social media, if Bo Nickel was to pin you, would you want him to help you up? Those are the questions swirling around Bo Nickel. That's, that's something that I would have loved. Didn't pick up enough falls in my time, and as I say that, Bo Nickel looking for a fall over on mat number one. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? Nickel trying to get back to the championship and defend his two national crowns. The winner of that match will face the winner here, and Colin Moore Looks like he's wanting to make it a third meeting. And Nickel takes care of business, so Bo has punched his ticket to the race mat tomorrow night. Colin Moore trying to do the same to make it a 1-2 matchup. Here at PPG Paints Arena. Moore riding tough. Now over two minutes of riding time as the second period comes to a close. <laughs> Bo trying to run off. ESPN's got to scramble to get over there with their camera. And Bo Nickel was blowing kisses, and I was paying attention for some reason to a guy up here in right below the Missouri sign in section 112, and he was catching the kisses as Bo Nickel was blowing them at him. These Penn State fans have fun, don't they? They sure do. This is in their backyard. Not too long of a drive to... Central Pennsylvania. Happy Valley for the Nittany Lions. They're underway here in the third. Moore on bottom. He's been a handful for Weigel, who came in 14 and 0. Moore, the two seed at 22 and 2, but he has really dictated the pace and been able to score points at will as he rotates out, gets his hip clear, hips clear, and he's back on his feet. The Buckeye on top, 9-3. to three. These are big points the Buckeyes would hope to get to keep distance between them and third place Iowa at 69 points. Buckeyes right now checking in with 80 and a half points. Oklahoma State rounding out the top four. The team trophy positions, 66 and a half points for John Smith's squad. Right, about one minute left to go. In regulation, Colin Moore has been a man on fire as he came out with a major decision in the first round, 12-3. Another major over Woodley of Oklahoma, 14-4. And he cruised into this semifinal with a win over Virginia Tech's Slay. That's Tom Slay, the 10 seed, 17-11. He lit up the scoreboard, and he's done the same here against Weigel, the number three seed out of Oklahoma State. Weigel quick pinned. The 11 seed, Christian Bruner of Purdue, in just 58 seconds, but he's in big trouble here. Another takedown for the Buckeye. Alan Moore has a runaway freight train on mat number two. And Chris Perry stands up. We have a short time left. And Valiant effort, yeah, by Preston White. Got to go big with five seconds left to go. And Colin Moore will have a third matchup with the defending national champion, Bo Nickel. The number two seed gets the victory 12 to 4 in convincing fashion. We'll see him on the race mat at PPG Paints here in Pittsburgh tomorrow night. You're watching NCAA Championship Wrestling. <laughs> 